middle of reading 47 series right now. I would like to reduce that number. So that's what we're going to try to do today. 47 series, not including Agatha Christie, because I'm just reading those uh, in a random order, not including the manga series that I'm reading, and I probably missed a few. Now, thankfully, a few of these series I'm currently caught up, but I know there's more books coming out, so I don't have to worry about those ones. But I want to start a video series where I attempt to, you know, get this down. So today, what we are going to be starting with is a book that I realized needs to go back to the library tomorrow. So, um, it's Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is book two in the Grishaverse trilogy. I realized last night that it has to go back tomorrow. So I started reading it this morning before church. I got exactly 100 pages in and I'm going to try to finish this in the next less than 24 hours. It's 12.30 right now. I'm gonna have some lunch. Then we're gonna finish watching Lord of the Rings. We have the second half of the last movie to watch, extended edition. So I'm a little bit busy. But then I'm going to try to finish this book. This is book two out of three in a series. So finishing this will not complete the series, but it'll get me a step closer. And I don't want to just focus on completing a series. Otherwise, I'm never going to make headway in the series that I am have a lot more books to go. Like some of them have like 20 books and I'm only on book like four. I need to also work on those. So for this video, I know I'm going to finish this, hopefully in time to bring it back to the library without getting a fine. And then from there, I will see what I'm in the mood for. I have a number of different options, which I think I will discuss after I'm done this. So this is a, is it YA? I think it's YA fantasy. I read book one in June and talked about that in my reading wrap up. It's really hard to talk about books that are like in the middle of a series. So this video series is gonna be kind of interesting. But in this world, we have um, our main character who finds out she's one of the Grisha who are highly revered and also a little bit feared because they have a lot of power. She never realized that she was one until she was in her like late teen years. And it turns out she's super powerful. And how do I explain this without giving spoilers? At the end of, uh, um, she's trying to get away from someone that wants to use her powers for bad. Let's say that. And I'm curious to see where the series goes. We're in book two here. Uh, so far, it has started out quite quickly. There are things that have happened, little twists that I didn't see coming, and I'm enjoying the series. So I'm looking forward to reading this. And I might, I'm like tempted to read the third book right after this because I hardly ever read series that quickly anymore and it might be fun. But I'm gonna see what I'm in the mood for once I'm done this. So first lunch and Lord of the Rings, then reading time. Also, it was like super rainy and chilly this morning and now the sun is coming out. So I'm probably gonna have to change out my sweater, but I was, I was really channeling the autumn vibes this morning. It was, it was great. Appalachian sunrise. Meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. So apparently with this book I'm reading about 100 pages an hour because I sat down to read at just after 3.30 and we're now at 4.40 and I had a couple interruptions and I'm just over 200 pages in. So that's working well. There is like 430 pages. So technically like another two hours of reading and I should be able to finish this. Although there's often many interruptions. I can't just sit and read for an hour straight without being asked to do something. But there is a character in this book. So I think I gave book one four stars. I enjoyed it. Not like a favorite favorite. Um, 
but there's a character in this book that I'm really enjoying the banter yeah like and just his like I think he would be really annoying in real life but he's he's kind of difficult and he has like hilarious replies for something so there's a situation where people this character and some other characters it's a very tense situation and he says please sit I don't know about you but I find everything much more understandable when seated something about circulation I suspect reclining is of course preferable but I don't think we're on those kinds of terms yet and he just really lightens the mood in a very intense situation and halfway through he's still there cracking jokes and but also seems to have a bit more to him than just that side but I'm enjoying his humor throughout the book so I don't know if I'll be able to get two more hours worth of reading in today depending what else we do with our day but I should be able to be really close to finishing this still haven't decided if I'm gonna just jump right into book three at this point I'm really enjoying this one and I think I would like to um, I mean I'm enjoying the twists that have been happening in here and the surprises have been good surprises so I'm gonna finish this and then I'll decide for sure where I'm going next I almost finished it last night. I had like 20 pages left, but I went to bed. And then I finished it this morning. Uh, I was saying that there was like one character that comes into book two here that I really enjoyed. That's a lie. There's actually at least three characters that come into this book that I really enjoy. I think I'm gonna give it like four and a half, maybe five stars. Well, five stars on Goodreads. It, it's definitely better than book one. So I'm very curious to see where book two goes. I have a bunch of errands and things to do today, uh, so I probably won't be able to pick up another book until the evening. We're going to see what I'm feeling in the evening. I have options, but I don't, I don't know what I'm in the mood for. So we'll see if I continue with this or if I pick up a different book. We'll see. Okay, I have some kids that really want to spend the afternoon outside but need to be supervised, so my favorite thing then is to bring a book these are my options so i think all of these end a series or end it for now like the next book hasn't come out yet so number one is to finish the grisha verse i just barely read book two i could read book three with everything fresh there's a definite advantage to that also i have like a bump inside my lip so it feels funny every time i talk now if you notice weird things. The second option is The Queen's Resistance. This is a duology, really enjoyed The Queen's Rising. I would have to read a summary on The Queen's Rising. I've, I really enjoyed that one. Heard great things about this. So uh, I'm realizing these are like all fantasy. Um, House of Roots and Ruin. This is after, what's the first book called? House of Salt and Sorrows. So these are like fantasy thrillers that are fairy tale-ish retellings. I enjoyed book one, but didn't realize like it, the fantasy thriller side of things. So I just didn't know what I was listening to. I listened to the audiobook. I think going into it might be better. So I have this one out from the library. I do tend to prioritize library books. That's another option. Another option would be Heart of the Sun Warrior. This is book two of the Celestial Kingdom it says duology here, but I just saw on Goodreads that there was a book three. But it wasn't like that when I had checked a couple weeks ago, so I don't know what happened there. There is also a 0.5 or a 1.5 or a 2.5, there's like a short story collection. To me that's different than the series. So I'm not sure if this is the final one or if they have tacked on another book. This is also fantasy, and this is like Asian inspired fantasy. And then this one I guess is maybe a little bit more science fiction. Steel Striker, it comes after Sky Hunter. I love this physical book. I always talk about how like this cover feels so awesome. 
love that it says the title on there. Those are my options. So the question is, what do I want to bring to the park? Honestly, I'm probably the least excited for this one and it's not a library book. So I'm gonna say not that one. These two are library books, but they're not due right away. So there are options. I feel like since I already don't remember this one, it's okay if I leave it for a little longer. I'm excited to read it, but maybe I should read this since it's fresh. These two I've read within the last year. This one I read in the late winter, early spring. This one I read last fall. It was like, I think this was the book before this, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, was possibly the book that like made me dive into fantasy. I don't remember what the start of that was last year, but this one's fresh. I think maybe I will actually go with this. I didn't really expect to, um, but book two was so good. So let's go with this. We'll finish this series off and then read one or both of these after that. Yeah, I think so. I think we're gonna go with that. I actually think maybe this one next at this point because it's so very different. Whereas like this, I don't know where they're set in here, but it has more similarities to this than this. This is quite a bit different, even though it is still fantasy. So that's where I stand right now, but we will read this one first. I just picked this one up the other day when I went to the Daisy Chain Book Co. I have a whole video um, sharing what that was like. It was a cute little independent bookstore near me. And so it's only $12, which Canadian, that is a steal of a deal. Very excited about that. And I'll just use my daisy chain bookmark. update it all yesterday. I didn't read very much. I got up to page 120 and from, I'm pretty sure, what I saw on Goodreads, let me double check. The other day I was inputting book two because I finished reading it in Goodreads and then adding book three in and if I'm remembering correctly here, I think that, I just want to find out for sure. Book one has 3.93 stars. Book two has 3.81 and book three has 3.99. Usually a series kind of gets higher because if people didn't enjoy book one, they don't continue the series. It's people generally that enjoyed it that continue. But the lowest rated one is book two, which to me has been the best one. And I'm struggling to get sucked into this one. I'm not like disliking it. Um, but to me book two like really sucked me in. I also knew I needed to read that one quickly and I often can't read too many books like super quickly. Um, after binging a book I need a little bit of break, do other things in life. So that might be partly it but also I'm finding like the humor that I really enjoyed from book one is or from book two, the one I just finished, Siege and Storm, it's just not in here yet. Maybe Maybe it'll come. Um, yeah, so I don't want to say anything really of what's going on partway through the last book in the trilogy. I'm curious to see how things are going to go. That's really all I'm going to say, uh, but hopefully, what day is today? Wednesday. Hopefully by Friday I can have this finished. By the end of the day, Friday at least. That's my goal. 
we'll see how it goes. I need to push myself, but I also need to do a few other things as well. Okay, so I finished the book, which I left over here, Ruin and Rising, and I think three stars. Um, there, was, there were some plot twists. I enjoyed not knowing where it was going, but there's a lot of content in here that I'm not a huge fan of, nor did I really like a lot of the book. Like, I don't know, I just... Not, e not even all for reasons I can like pinpoint. That being said, the um, last sentence of the book I loved. I'm gonna write this down in my commonplace book. They had an ordinary life full of ordinary things, if love can ever be called that. So, enjoyed the last line. Three stars. So I think I went from four for book one, five for book two, and then three for the ending. But I finished a series so that feels good. Still a million other series I want to start, which is okay, but I want to be finishing some at least. So after I finished that, which I did shortly before supper, um, and now it's after, I was thinking like, what do I want to read next? Feels like maybe I should read one of the books I have from the library, but I'm currently not in the mood for them. So I think I'm gonna wait on those. I have The Queen's Rising, which could finish this series. I have other ones too. This was like probably the highest, except then I got something in the mail. I got the ARC copy of The Immortal Abyss by Catherine Briggs, and I loved The Eternity Gate last year when I read it. This is a duology. This will complete the duology. It's not even out yet, but it comes out September 17th. And oh, and she sent me a cute little card which has birds on it, which I am just a sucker for. I love birds and birding. I am an old lady at heart. So I think this is the book I'm gonna go with. This is a fantasy duology, which I don't remember what happens at the beginning of the other book. This is a problem with series, like I don't like to give spoilers. So I only like to talk about a brief part at the beginning. I just remember that I loved it and even Jared, he was very excited that I got the second book because he also loved the first one. So double win. So I need to quickly read this before he reads it because I think he wanted to read it right away. Maybe we'll have to share. I'll get started now and we'll see if I share it with him or he has to wait till I'm done. Immortal Abyss. I love that I got the book in the mail and started it that day, which was yesterday. I am up to page 75, really enjoying it, but I did forget pretty much, well, a lot of what happened in book one, like I remember bits, and I thought maybe I would get 
reminded at the beginning of this book what happened in book one. A lot of authors do like a fairly extensive recap in the series. This one does not have one and we follow a completely different character. So that's interesting. So I pulled out book one and like read the back, tried to remember what was going on. So this takes place, well, like after this one, which kind of makes sense. But in this one, there's a war over the Eternity Gate, okay? It's called the Eternity Gate, so, you know. Then this one, um, it says, nations rise and fall in the aftermath of war over the Eternity Gate. The corrupted desert throne stands empty and the immortal abyss awakens. Drought ravages the continent and people long for the rebirth of a star palm who will rise from among mortals and end their judgment. Orphaned at birth, Tall grew up hiding in the farthest corners of the desert, training under powerful rebel fire wielders. She now dedicates her life to the rebellion's cause to seize the throne and abyss from the surviving dynasty and deliver both to the coming deity. So our main character in here is Tall, and I'm really enjoying the book. She is quite gifted in wielding fire, but then also has like these major shortfalls and lots of things happen at the beginning. And so I'm really curious to see where this goes. I'm going to read this one fairly quickly. Tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday is generally like my big reading time. Although there is a library sale I might be going to at least for a little bit, um, but I'll probably finish this tomorrow. So we'll definitely continue with this. Loving it. I ended up finishing The Immortal Abyss. Really, really enjoyed it another five star read. Honestly, this book gave, also my kids have friends over there playing video games. I feel like their yelling and cheering is gonna come through. If so, that's what it is. Um, this one actually gave me vibes of Ruin and Rising, but better. So if you've read that series and were as disappointed in book three as I was, check out this duology. Uh, there was, a lot of things I really liked. I really struggled to talk about a second book. This one had some really good comments about light that I really enjoyed. So highly recommend that. Then when I shared my short of my library books that I had out, I heard some things about Roots and Ruin, House of Roots and Ruin, and I think I'm actually just gonna quit that series. So I think I'm gonna just be done with that. And then if I can at some point, before this book has to go back, I would like to read The Heart of the, Heart of the Sun Warrior, but I know I have some other books I have to read first. I'll hopefully get to this one yet as well. But that will be all for this attempt to finish my series. And we will see if my next video I have started more because that's probably likely, but at least, at least I got some finished. So that feels like a win to me.